just talk in the vlog, dear. So that's Mr. back there. We're still eating leftovers from Friday night's dinner that was uh, not as expected. Turkey. Anyway, Turkey, yeah, from Thanksgiving that we didn't get to eat then either. We right. just sat in the freezer. Anyway, it is Sunday evening at 7.20 p.m. We haven't Christmas done Eve. Christmas Eve. We haven't done a whole heck of a lot. And after the craziness between getting the vid at Thanksgiving and then what happened Friday, again, you got to go watch last week's vlog. Um, we're happy to just stay home in the nice peace and quiet. We've been watching movies all day, you guys, and it's been cool. We're about to watch one with Jason Momoa. I just saw the name of it and I, now I can't think of it. Braven. Braven? Braven. Braven. Yeah, that was it. So anyway, it's been a good Christmas Eve. I hope you all are having a good, good Christmas Eve, whether it's a quiet one, a busy one, with the family or not. I hope you're having a good one. Um, I am working on finishing my sweater, hopefully tonight, last sleeve and then buttons. Um, it's a bit big on me. I seem to make myself really big sweaters. I seem to think I'm fatter than I am. But you know what? I wear them anyway. So, you know. Adopted daughter, though, if this fits her. Well, you know, it's like um, it's like when you go put food on your plate. You're, you're like when you go to a all you can eat buffet. You just put up more food than what you think you're gonna eat. You always have like leftovers. leftovers. So your eyes are always bigger than your self. So yeah. So anyway, I do have enough of this leftover to do a different pattern of sweater. I just saw on YouTube this evening. There is no written pattern for the sweater. So I think I'm gonna have to sit with the video and make notes in my notebook to figure out how to make it. So that's, yeah, anyway. I hope you guys are having a good one. Tomorrow morning, we will celebrate Christmas, the two of us, open some gifts. Uh, adopted kids are coming over um, to visit with us for a little bit. We are just planning on being in our pajamas all day. We are not getting out of our pajamas, so. Nope. Anybody's welcome to come over, but we're going to be in pajamas, so be warned. Anyway, that's no matching pajamas. Matching Christmas pajamas, yeah. Matching so, Christmas pajamas. Anyway, I'll be back. Okay, I haven't woven in any ends yet, and it is big on me, but I don't know. I kind of like that it's big and slouchy. The sleeves are too long, but again, I don't think I mind. All right, hang on. So... Uh, I'm too short for you to see, but hold on. Is that better? Maybe? Yeah, that's a little easier. So here we are. I obviously have to weave all the ends in, and the sleeves are too short, but I think I'm okay with that. And it's got pockets and all the things. And it is uh, premier puzzle. So it's gonna do probably strange things when I wash it. And I don't know what that's gonna do to it, but I gotta tell you, I think I like it. If I make another one, I might try to make it a little bit smaller, but I'm okay with this one. All right, I'll be back. Hey, you guys, good morning. Yes, my hair is wet, hence the wrap. Anyway, I don't think I vlogged yesterday, Christmas Day at all. In fact, I know I didn't. But that's okay. I spent it with Bob, chilling on the couch, doing some crocheting. Um, and um, the kids, some of the kids came over for breakfast yesterday, which was great to spend time with them. Um, I broke one of my Apple charging cables because of course I did. I buy them in bulk because I tend to, this is not an Apple one, but I tend to get them so the little end thing could, just comes out. I don't know. Maybe I buy cheap cables. Uh, <laughs> the little ones from next door came over and their parents. That was fun. And yeah, we just chilled. I finished my sweater I was working on. I'm not sure at the moment if I have a picture or not, but if I do, I'll put it here. And I started a mushroom bag. I've had the pattern for a while. It's basically granny squares with mushrooms on them uh, made into a tote bag. If I can find the pattern, I'll link it down below. So I started that last night and just, we just relaxed and had fun. We made some roulade and some spetzel for dinner. Um, I made the roulade and spetzel. Bob made the gravy. He's great at gravy. So 
better at it than I am. <clears throat> Today, he is off to a Masonic thing real quick before we run errands, and I am going to prep journals for 2024. I can't believe I'm saying that. Um, I think I figured out what I want to do for the daily arts practice stuff, maybe. Um, so I am going to sit and edit the vlog first, and we are going to work on that. <clears throat> and then I'll prep the journals. Um, what exactly am I going to do is going to be in Patreon. So if you want to follow along with me on some daily art practice, I'm going to continue with the sewing and the needlework. It is my first love, to be honest. I started it first in life and um, even used to work for Chuck E. Cheese back in the day. For those that don't know that, I was a fabric cutter and seamstress for Chuck E. Cheese. We made the robotic characters at the plant where I worked. And I hate fake fur to this day. So there's that. But anyway, it was one skill out of high school I knew how to do and I had to pay the rent. So yeah. Anyway, all right. It's not gonna do itself. So let me turn on a YouTube video and get video clips downloaded to the desktop, which has finally been turned on for the week, and get all the things over with, because yeah, that's gonna be a thing. I'll be back. Okay, you guys, vlog is edited and currently saving, rendering, and then we'll get that uploaded. Now I need to figure out January's journal, what we're gonna do, maybe combining these two bags. This is my watercolor sketchbook, which I haven't worked in in months, literally months, and I kind of miss working in it. So I better do some Googling. I'll be back. Okay, scheduled posts for Patreon and my Facebook group are done and ready to go January 1st, New Year's Day. Um, and the vlog for tomorrow is loading right now. So that's just about done. I am in the process of putting some things away, but we're first we're going to prep the January journals first, get that ready to go. So it's downstairs and all done. All right. Hopefully we can do that before Bob gets back. I'll be back. So we just left Winco. We have one more place to stop at because... You know, it's the day after Christmas. Shelves are empty. Um, it took a little longer than anticipated getting in and out of Winco because we met the sweetest little old lady who was in her 80s. I think she said her name was Maria. And her husband has passed away. And she's very alone. And she was passing on some wonderful advice. I felt like I was talking to my Nana. So... You guys talked for like 20 minutes. We did. <laughs> and she just, yeah. So it was great anyway. Uh, of course, I've gotten a few compliments uh, about my sweater. Uh, you know. Anyway, we have one more place to stop at and then we're going to go home because we're also exhausted. We're still recovering from the vid. So, all right, I'll be back. Okay, guys. So we made the last stop. Found some creamer that will work. Um, for me, some creamer that will work for me. Um, but the funny part is on our way into Safeway. <laughs> yeah, somebody else stopped and commented about my sweater, which is fine. I mean, you know, like Bob just said to me literally a minute ago, you don't wear something like this and not expect somebody to say something. Um, but this couple evidently film online courses and they want to know if I'll do some work with them. And so... And they're going to email me. It's so hilarious. <laughs> if anything comes from it, I'll be surprised. But yeah, anyway. <laughs> as long as it ain't a scam. Right? We'll be careful because, yeah, yeah. you know, these things come, have come along in the past periodically. And it never works out way, the way it's been promised. So, but that being said, they were a very, very nice couple. And, um... It, it's so nice to have people, I said to Bob earlier, say, hey, did you make that? I take it as a compliment. Back in the old days when I was a teenager making things, I didn't take it that way because it wasn't intended that way. Now I do because it's kind of fun. Anyway, 
and I'd love to sh show people how to do what I do. So now we're gonna try to get out of the parking lot, get home. We're both exhausted. All we've done is grocery shop, but we're exhausted. And uh, yeah. Because we've been to what? Three places? Four, yeah, four places. Four places, I think, yeah. You know, it's the day after Christmas, so the shelves are all half empty. So anyway, or completely empty. Anyway, I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. Uh, it's Wednesday. It's just before 11 a.m., I think. And we are obviously in the truck. We're gonna actually, Bob is off until after New Year's, so we're gonna go for a little drive and we're gonna go have lunch up on Mount Hood at Timberline Lodge. Um, Cause why not? Um, so, and Bob got a brand new dash cam for Christmas, which he's hooked up. And so if we get any good footage, I'll include it in the vlog. But I mean, now that we actually have a dash cam, we won't run into anything. Like that'll be a thing. Anyway. <laughs> I have yeah, a yeah. when you have a dash cam you're not gonna get anything. No. I have some more uh yarn with me of course. I'm gonna start an Afghan. Uh, that's an easy project to do while he's driving. And um hopefully my vid symptoms are gone and I don't get too nauseous, so there's that. Um I'm not doing RT Trio again because we're just the symptoms are just yeah, I mean I'm almost back to normal but not quite. Anyway, let me get to crocheting. I'll be back. Yes, we're in the truck again. We are gonna go run a couple quick errands today. We did do some purging, um, mostly of clothing. Um, Mr. did some shoes. Wi-Fi is connected. Thank you. Um, anyway. <laughs> Um, so we're going to do drop off donations and we also have a helium tank that's empty that we've had for about a year. It was from grandson's baby shower before he was born yeah. and we've never done anything with the tank. We knew we needed to take it down to the disposal site. So we're going to go do that this morning. Get it out of the garage. And get it out of the garage, yeah. And then we're going to go home and I think I'm going to work on some crocheting and also maybe work start working on my um, sister and dad's Italy journal. So, yeah. All right. We'll be back. Okay, I'm literally doing this with my phone on the sofa. <laughs> Bob is off to a Masonic meeting. So I, this is my favorite way to do afghans. It's just quick, simple, easy. Um, there's no special stitches. Um, and I do lots of scrap afghans this way. Um, I hide in the ends as I go and join things as I go. So at the end, all I have to do is cut these guys. They're already woven in and knotted and everything. Um, I also remembered after making a few of these with the, the seam join, like right over here, um, and although it, I did it neatly, you could tell that when I do, and it up until recently, it's been literally a few decades since I did this much crocheting. But anyway, um, I remembered that when I do like to do these, I like to do the join in the corner because then it's virtually undetectable. So this is a regular corner and this is the join, I'm knocking things over. This is the join corner. You can't hardly tell. So when I get back to the beginning, which I am, so I'm going to slip stitch into the first double crochet on this side, and I'll talk more about how I've made this afghan, but um, I'll slip stitch into the double crochet on this side. I'll pull the yarn um, fairly tightly and I'm going to pull it through. Then I'm going to go backwards into the chain one space. Now the corners are double crochet, two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet on all the corners. So when I've done the join like this, my hook is one stitch past the chain one space, which is right here. So we're gonna go backwards into the chain one space, grab the yarn, and pull it through the slip and then chain two and then double crochet in the same space and that's half of that corner. 
Now when we go all the way around this edge and come back, we will end this row with two chain, two double crochets and a chain one. And then we'll join the chain one to the top of this, just like we did just now. And that ends that row and we can start a new row. Um, this whole blanket is, is done that way. Now I started with, uh, there. So I started with four, uh, chain four and then slip stitch into the first chain to make a loop. Then I did 12 double crochets in the loop. I joined um, to the first one with a slip stitch and then I did, and we started with a corner because remember I just said I wanted to do my my joins in the corner. So I started with two double, uh, sorry, chain two and a double crochet, then a double crochet, then two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet, a double crochet, a repeat of that chain one space. And I did that all around till I got back to the beginning, the chain two and double crochet. And in that space, I did two double crochet, chain one and joined it. And then I continued with the blanket the way we just did this corner here. Um, and you just keep doing that. Keep doing it and doing it and doing it and doing it. And it's a great way to use up scrap yarn. I don't know, did that make sense? Did it make any sense? If not, let me know, because I make these all the time. We could do something better and bigger. All right, I'll be back. I also want to clarify. I know um, looking at the vlog, it might see, seem like we're all well and good, but yeah, we're not since the vid. Um, you know, we go out and run a couple of errands and then we come home and we're just exhausted. I'm still fighting fatigue and um, dizziness, nausea, motion sickness, vertigo. Um, and yesterday we went out to lunch. We actually went on a little bit of a drive up to Mount Hood, which is about an hour away. Um, and just w walking, uh, granted it was slightly uphill in the parking lot. I mean, up until I got COVID, I was actually doing pretty well with that kind of thing. I had to stop five times, you guys, and it wasn't that far. So I'm still I'm still having trouble. And um, so this month, again, I haven't done um, RC Trio, and I have a backlog of projects I do have to do, and, but I'm gonna, and I will get them done, um, albeit slowly. There's just no other way about it. I have one particular project for my dad and sister that's a pri top priority, so I'm working on that, and uh, did a little bit of work on that tonight got some things ready, um, probably do some more work on it tomorrow um, and over the weekend. And right now I'm just sitting here doing that because it's really all I have the energy for. So anyway, all right, back to some YouTube and drinking my bone broth because that's something I wasn't doing at all while we were sick. So I'll be back. Hey guys, we are, I know we're in the car. We're actually in the Subaru this time. We're actually headed home. We just ran a few quick errands, one of which was to go to the library and renew our library cards. And of course that meant we had to check out books because we both love books. And I found some, of course, crochet books. But we also stopped at Value Village. And of course I always go back and look at the yarn. So Lily Sugar and Cream. 100% pure virgin wool, four ply knitting worsted. I, and this is this is an old label. I don't know when this is from. If one of you all knows and can date it, let me know. There's no date on the ball. They don't smell, they smell old, but they don't smell bad. Um, they're definitely, well, smelling yarn is a thing. Did you not know that? I didn't know that. That's a thing. Um, but I found, I think there's six balls um, like this, one of which had, looks like it's been used a little bit, but most of them are full and new, and for five bucks. Five so, dollar. five dollar. What am I gonna do with them? I don't know. It wasn't what I was looking for, but you know. Anyway, we're gonna go home now and just relax for a little bit and then um, go out probably later for dinner to get some sushi, because why not? All right. No kids. No kids. It's just us. Just us. It's Friday. We're seeing everybody New Year's Eve. 
so nobody tonight so it's all good anyway all right we'll be back and yes i know in the pictures of our lunch up in the snow mr looked grouchy but that's because he didn't know i was taking his picture i would have smiled otherwise. he would have smiled he wasn't that's actually right. grouchy that was his, just his resting grouchy face. grouchy face i'm trying to look for a word that's not a bad word resting grouchy face most cold and it was also snowy yeah and i can tell that i haven't been walking and i'm recovering from the vid because i had to stop like six times between the parking lot and the hotel um just to get up the hill which is not normal these days for me so anyway all right we're gonna go home i'm gonna look at the books work on my blanket i'll be back hey guys yes we're in the car again big car a car the subaru we went out and ran a couple quick errands this morning and then came home and just relaxed at home for a while right now we're going out to go in one mile turn left onto southwest pacific highway we're going we're going out to visit with friends and have some dinner out at an italian place that we haven't been to before so i'm excited to try it and uh i'll let you know how it is it ought to be good i think i'm halfway through the next day afghan and i already have the next one planned of course i seem to be on an afghan kick i don't know all right i'll be back Okay, we had a really great dinner out with some new friends. Turns out the wives and I have a lot in common, which might be a bad thing for Mr. Rivera. It's terrible. I, it's terrible. One of them's a knitter. I'm a oh crocheter. God. The other one knows about knitting and crocheting. I don't know if she does either. Anyway, gray, there's something gray, called gray. a yarn crawl around here that happens gray, once a year. Gray, the gray. other wife's gonna get in touch with me. So anyway, we're gonna stop at the grocery store and get some things for New Year's Eve. I'll be back. Uh, yeah, of course. He's got his new little outfit on. It's very warm. <laughs> anyway, we're home. We've been home for a little bit. The dinner out was very fun. The group of people that we met from his Masonic Lodge were great. The ladies and I have a lot in common. That might be bad. You both like to knit and crochet. And read. And read. Yeah. So anyway, but it was a lot of fun. We stopped at the grocery store on the way home and picked up a few things for tomorrow for the kids' house. We've got a pile of stuff over there. Yeah. Anyway, it's been a fun week, a quiet week, but that's good. It's okay. Uh, Bob and I have gone out and done things, just the two of us, which we enjoy. And uh, yeah, we're slowly getting better from the vid. The symptoms are slowly abating, but... They're taking their sweet ass time, at least for me. So, but you know, I'm going to keep working on it. Anyway, I hope you all have had a good week. I hope you had a great Christmas, or if you don't celebrate Christmas, that you had a great other holiday, whatever that was. Uh, New Year's Eve is tomorrow. I hope whatever you're going to do for that, it's going to be fun and happy and safe. Uh, We're going to be at the kids' house, uh, but that's for next week's vlog. So we will see you then. Anyway, Check out the video description for relevant links. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you want to be part of, part of my Patreon, the link is in, down in the video description. If you want some of my designs in rubber stamps or art foamy stamps, the links for that are down below too. And uh, don't forget to go out, have a good day, have a good evening. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And we'll see you next week. Bye, guys.